Hi, my name is Night Cat, and I'm Night Cat here today. Number one, this is gonna be a really loud video. <laughs> like, if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. I know that a lot of people like to watch these kinds of videos. I'm one of them, that's why I'm making this video. But just a quick warning number one, it's gonna be noisy. Number two, I don't have one of those cameras that I can, like. <laughs> sorry, my mom's just yelling. Um. There is a, so like, whenever people do like overhead videos, like on a table, I can't do those types of videos because I'm filming with a phone. I do have a camera, but most of the time when I film something on my camera, I never upload it. So, <laughs> um, so this is going to be a video where it's just, you know, like little close ups and stuff. Like, I'll take something out and show you up close, and um, maybe I'll just watch it. Yeah, that would be nice. So, whoops <laughs> sorry and the table that's in front of me is actually a piano i should probably do like a room tour one day and by one day i mean in like three years because um this room's a freaking mess but with my other room i can probably get it cleaned up enough to where i can do like a room tour or something number two there's fireworks you can probably hear that it is like the sixth and there's fireworks <laughs> probably because the fourth of july was on like a wednesday so, um, and then my dogs are barking because, like, it's n right next door. Like, the people that are shooting off fireworks are, like, right next door. So, yeah, not the best. Um, but this isn't the video I wanted to make. I wanted to make a, um, frequently asked questions video. It's not like I get a lot of questions, it's just, if you've ever seen, like, Connor French's frequently asked questions video, that's where I got this, like, that video idea from. Um, I think he actually took questions that were actually from him, but I'm saying, like, kind of in that, kind of a tag form, like a get-to-know-me type of form. Um, should be good. So. <laughs> Hunter. <laughs> so. But, Hunter's my dog. If you hear, like, a high-pitched bark, that's my dog, too. Um, so this is a K-Sit, um, like, pink little pencil case. I forgot the word, sorry. <laughs> Probably just gonna be my mom yelling in the background and the dogs barking and fireworks going off and jazz playing. And I don't think the jazz is actually on anymore, but it was. Um, so it's just kind of, it's kind of like the Lee Lab, if I'm saying that correctly, um, pencil case where it has kind of like a pocket up front and then some like like a little thing where it just has like loops like pencil loops and then you flip over that and then it has like a ton of space for like 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 that you see that okay <sighs> this is probably not going to be my best video but but my wish you liked girls wasn't my best and that's my second most viewed video <laughs> Um, I do have a video coming up planned, I have a few, um, coming up that are planned, um, I plan to do kind of a, a like, a chat that I kind of just want to make, like, you know how people will have, like, their trailers for their YouTubes? I kind of want to put it on there, um, because it's, it's something that I want to be like, hi, this is how I make videos, so please don't, like, be like, that's not correct, or something like that when I film a video, um, or, like, you messed up, like, when I, where I do, like, a video every day and whatever month, it's because I do one-take videos on those times, so, most of the time, unless something severely goes wrong, like a family member walks in the room or something and they don't want to be seen or something, I can't, ed I don't edit, okay, those are some sort of things that I'm gonna say in that video, um, also, thank you for, I think, I, I think today I just hit 70 subscribers. That's weird. I remember when I had, like, five, like, two years ago, and all of them were my family. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I want to do that frequently asked questions tag type of video. Um, that's kind of like a thanks for 70 subscribers celebration video. <laughs>
Yeah, and then I also have a video planned for, um, it's a video I want to make called If I Was a Cool YouTuber. Now, I've never seen if anybody's ever done that sort of video before, but basically, like, if I was a better YouTuber or whatever, these are the types of videos I would want to make. But, yeah. Okay, so, into the pencil case stuff. I'm sorry, that was a really long intro. Um, but... The first thing in kind of like this side pocket right here, this mesh pocket, is a high polymer eraser by Pintel. It's just a regular like plastic eraser. Is that what actually erasers are made of? Plastic? Okay. <laughs> but, um, and it comes in this like little case. I bought this with some really nice pencils. Um, that I'll get to in just a second, so. And then in here, I keep all my lead. Now, originally, I think that once school starts, I'm going to make this more of, like, my pencil case for school, not my pencil case for art. So, I'll probably, I'll may, I may do a uh, updated one in a few months, so. Um, this is Pentel lead. This is... Dental erasers, refills, and this is Zebra Delgard um, lead. So, I might sound like a nerd for saying this, but I do like a lot of research on pens and pencils because I, I, just, I like it. So, in my kind of pen loop things, pencil loop thing, I have two of these. These are the, um, Actually, I'll just post, so my, um, I'm trying to make, like, an Instagram that you guys can, like, see, because with my other U Instagram, it's more of, like, who I am in real life. I know that's, that sounds weird, like, you may actually want to know who I am in real life and, like, what I do and stuff, but I, um, all, all I'm trying to say is I'll post swatches on my Instagram. My Instagram is I wish I was a Bible journaling page. Um, yeah, so I'll put it like in the comments or something, um, like the link to it if I find time. Um, because my other Instagram is really like if you know me, it's more like fun to look at. But if you don't know me, then it's like, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll put the swatches on there, but, um, this is the Graph Gear 800 and the 0.7, and they go as small as, I think, 0.5, so it's just, and I have two of these, they're really expensive, you can buy them online. Yeah, so, so I would definitely recommend buying them in store, specifically, I don't know how the prices is for other places that aren't, like, Missouri, but, uh, but at my local, um, Office Depot, I got them for, like, seven dollars with the eraser and the refills, whereas normally if you work by Amazon, you would pay, like, ten dollars for just a pencil, and that's it. Isn't that great? So... Um, the next thing I have in here is my Zebra Delgard. Now, you, now, Jetpins made a whole video on this, this pencil, I'm pretty sure. It's either that, they made a whole video about it, or they made, like, they made these, like, cool pencils video, like, innovative lead and stuff. So, basically, I'm gonna show you this. So, it shouldn't, like, break the lead. It's not a different type of lead, it's just the mechanics in it, I guess is the right word. So if I push down, the lead will go back inside the pencil, so I won't break it. The thing is, is if you're really, really, really heavy-handed like me, like I can be not heavy-handed, um, then it's easier to break the lead. Um, but if you're like kind of medium-handed, <laughs> Um, that might be really good for you. The biggest lead it comes in is 0.7. I have the 0.5 though, and it works just fine for me. Now we're getting into more like art stuff, like stuff I use for my art. 
So I have this Uniball Air. Um, yeah, I have a Uniball Air. It's just like a Rolo pen type thing. It's very, very scratchy. Just a warning if you want to get it. So that's that's the tip. I, yeah. I mean, it's really nice. Uh, it has a 0.8 tip. If you have no idea what that means, like, it just means, like, the thickness of the lead. Or of the tip. Or whatever. And my pencil fell on the floor. So, and the next thing I use, this is my favorite pen. Not just to write with, but just, um, like, if you need some, like, thin lines. Um, like, if you do art and you need, like, thin outlines. Like, after you're done with your pencil lines. I use the Pilot G2. Um, M.7. It's backwards for me. Is it backwards for you? Like, if I'm looking on the, like, screen of where, of, like, where I can see myself, it looks backwards. So, I don't think it's backwards, though. Um, so yeah. And then in my, like, main big compartment, I have... Another Pentel G, or Pi, Pilot G2, not Pentel. I have another one. I have two of them. Um, you can buy them at, um, if you, if you live near where I live, um, you can buy them at Cash Saver. Like, I'm sure they have Cash Savers in other places. <laughs> but you can buy, like, two of them, two or three of them for, like, five dollars. Whereas at Walmart, they're a little more expensive. Just a little bit. And they come in um, a few different colors. Like my grandma got purple ones. So the next thing I have is very, very heavily art related. Ow, but I won't dwell on it too much for those of you that are here for the stationery and stuff. So I have these Zig Millennium um, fine liners. So I'll just quickly go ahead and show you those. I know that these don't come in as nearly as many tape sizes as the, um, whoops, I just drew it myself, as the, uh, Microns do. I've never tried Microns, but I, I've tried, like, Stadler. I really like Stadler, too. That's sort of that. I'm trying to show you in order of thickness. Um, so that's the 0.5. The first one I showed you was 0.8. I didn't say that already. This is a point three, and I'm nor I'm used to working with point three because that's the size of like you know if you get those Stadler fine liners that come in like eighty dollars or something they're normally um point five and same thing with the extra fine tip sharpies they're also point three too. This is point one. And then, oh, and by by the way, Zig is like kind of the sub brand of Kiritake. I'm sure that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, that's it's tiny. You can't really see it on camera. It's point zero five, and I know that Micron has a point zero zero or yeah yeah point zero zero five. So I think that means it's half of. The size that I just showed you. Um, like that. Um, then we have a crap ton of these like unbranded pens. But if you can find these pens, oh my god, they are the best thing in the world for like cheap pens. They can be a little bit scratchy, but I think it's just the fact that my one of my pens are, is kind of dried out, and I, that's the one that's like really scratchy. I'm missing one. I am. I'm missing the yellow one. Oh, well, you get a point. Um, if, I, if I see the yellow one in here, I will show you. Yeah, I don't see the yellow one. But anyway. Um, they just say gel medium on the signs of some of them. Pretty sure we just got them at, like, Walmart or something. Yeah, but if you can tell me what these pins are, please tell me. Because they're, like, the best pins. If you don't want to sell a bunch of money on, like, jelly rolls or Uniball Signos. Which, by the way, can somebody tell me where you get Uniball Signos? Because I can't find, like, any online. 
Probably if I went to like Hobby Lobby, I would find them, but. Yeah, can somebody tell me? Um, I'm trying to find like places to put these because like there's a certain order that I put them all in so that like the salmon will be at the top and the others will be at the bottom. Um, speaking of jelly rolls, again, more art related. Um, I have three white jelly rolls um, in point eight. And they're just, they're really nice for highlights and stuff, people will say. But for me, it didn't work very well. So that's why I kind of want to try the Uniball Signo instead. So, yeah. And also with these gel pens, I really like to color in some of my characters with them. Um, one day I'll do a sketchbook tour and you'll be able to see, um, kind of. I've done a sketchbook tour before, but it was like, most of it was really personal. I couldn't show you a lot of it, so. Um. And then I have this Leisure Arts one. Now, Leisure Arts isn't the greatest, but it's okay. Their pencils suck. <laughs> just, just by the way, I I watched a, a, like, their colored pencils suck. I watched a Super Ray Dizzle video about it. Um, she didn't make a video just about it. It was, like, the lowest um, rated art supplies on Amazon or something. But yeah, this is just what this one looks like. It's just, it's a gold pen. Okay, I don't know how well it works on black paper. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll show the highlighters last for those of them who don't care, you know. Okay, so I have two Uniball Signo 207s. So they're like this and they're just like click pens. Now the thing about this one <laughs> So it's actually not pink inside, it's actually um, black, and this is actually blue. So, so just, just by the way, if you want to buy the pink one, just know that it's actually black ink. Yeah, and again, JetPens made an entire video about these. Or not about these specifically, but about Uniball Signals in general. Um, and then we have, I have these two... Um, Pintle RSVPs in fine. One of them's blue and one of one of them's blue and one of them is um black. Yeah, so just you know, regular pen tip. You can't really see uh, how thin or thick it is. Um, and then lastly, I have this like unbranded. It's it's not unbranded. Um, if you live near here um it's a it's a church i you know i don't really want to show show what church i go to the entire world you know um just in case somebody's like ooh, you go to that church and then unsubscribes or something um or not that that's a really big deal to me it's just it's just it's also like one of those things of like i can't say where i live um mostly because a it makes it kind of uncomfortable b you know I'm underage, and, you know, my parents won't let me in, and things like that. Um, so, like, obviously, you, know, you guys know that I live in Missouri, but, like, what town ex What town exactly? I'm not gonna tell you. So, yeah, this is just a pen from a church. And it is actually one of the smoothest pens I've ever used. If you want to see, like, an entire, uh, like, pen haul, I actually do have an entire bag of pens um, that I can show you guys. And I love them all. <laughs> Not them all. Not all pens are created equal. So next I have one Zebra Zazzle. Zebra Zazzle. <laughs> and it is a very smooth highlighter. I, I really like it. Um, I've never tried the mild liners though, so yeah. Oh, by the way, if you're a stationary person and you don't want to, like, shell a whole bunch of money on mild liners, get, like, a hundred pack of, um, of, uh, even, even, like, a 50 pack of, um, Crayola Super Tips. And then what I did is that I picked out all the, like, bright colored ones. And I all put them in like separate places so that one, um, one of the pen, like all the pens that. <laughs> all 
all the pens that don't work as highlighters can, you know, live in their box, and then I have, like, a little, like, thing of them on my desk, and I have some in my backpack, too, that I just, I use them as highlighters. They work as highlighters. So, um, and if the ones, so I recommend that if, say, you're like, oh, I think this is a highlighter color, and then you, like, pull it out and swatch it, and it's, like, over some text or something, and it's, like, not, then I would, would recommend before doing that, if you're not sure if it's a highlighter color or not, just write the word, like, cat or something, and then highlight over it and see if it works as a highlighter. Because there were some browns in there that didn't work, so. <sighs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is my zebra dazzle. It's great. That's all I have to say. <sighs> And then I have these Pilot Friction Highlighters. I actually got these for less than $5 at um, a, a place with people. Uh, <laughs> at uh, um, Office Depot. I can always think of the name. Like, think of it in my head, but I can't actually think of what it's called. So, I have... I'm just trying to talk over my mom. <laughs> so... I, um, yeah, so these are, like, the pastel ones, and they're, again, they're very, very muted, um, so much so that my grandma actually could not see the yellow one. <laughs> so, it comes with a yellow one, a green one, a pink one, a purple one, and a blue one, and if you don't know about the, about the pilot, about the Pilot Friction lines, um, or Friction, or whatever. Here's how to spell it. You can see that. F-R-I-X-I-O-N. Jet Pins has an entire video about it. They're just a line of erasable products, basically. So they have pens, and highlighters, and markers, and all sorts of different stationery. Um, I believe they even have, like, pencils, too. But obviously, pencils are erasable, so I don't really, I don't really understand the point of that. But I probably shouldn't have clapped my hands. So I could have made the dog spark. <laughs> but, um. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, that is the end of my pencil case thing. <laughs> okay, bye.